In this video, we're going to talk about market capitalization of stocks. So in this problem, company XYZ has 42 million shares outstanding and a market price of $24.50 per share. What is the market capitalization of company XYZ? So what's the formula to calculate market cap? The market capitalization is equal to the number of shares outstanding times the price of each share. Now you need to be familiar with the units. If you see a capital M, that stands for million. One million is equal to 10 to the sixth power. If you see a B, that stands for a billion, which is 10 to the ninth power. And a thousand represents a kilo, which is 10 to the third power. So just keep that in mind. Now going back to the formula above, let's abbreviate market cap as MC. So we have 42 million shares outstanding. I'm going to replace capital M with 10 to the six. and then times the share price. So it's $24.50 per share. So the unit shares will cancel. So let's go ahead and multiply those two numbers. And so you'll get a market cap of $1 billion, 29 million, and that's about it. Now, this is a lot of zeros to write. If you want to simplify your answer, you can multiply it, or rather divide it by 10 to the 9. So keep in mind, 1 billion is 10 to the 9 dollars. So if you divide that by 10 to the 9, you can write your answer like this. The market cap for company XYZ is 1.029 billion dollars. And it's a lot easier to write it this way. So that's it for this problem. Here's another one. Number two, company ABC has 50 million shares in float and 30 million shares or rather restricted shares. If a stock of company ABC is selling for $45 on the open market, what is the market capitalization of company ABC? So we know that the market cap is going to be equal to the shares outstanding times the share price. But we don't have the number of shares outstanding. But what you need to realize is that the number of shares outstanding is the sum of the float and the restricted shares, which I'm going to call RS. The float is the number of shares that are available for trading in the open market. The restricted shares are those that are owned by typically the executive officers of the company. But all we need to do is add those two numbers. So the number of outstanding shares is going to be 50 million plus 30 million, which is 80 million. So now that we have this value, we can calculate the market cap of this company. So this is going to be 80 million or 80 times 10 to the 6 times the share price of 45. Now, if you don't want to replace the M with 10 to the 6, you can just do it this way. So you have 80 times 45, which is 3,600. Now, it's important to understand how to convert this into how to convert M to B. One billion is equal to a thousand times a million. So 3,600 million is basically 3.6 billion. If you want to convert it, just divide it by a thousand. As you can see, the units M will cancel. 
So this company is valued at $3.6 billion. So the market cap tells you the total value of the company's shares. That is the restricted shares and the shares that are available for trading. 